before this video starts, I'd like to apologize for the lack of uploads. Um, as you can probably hear, I am deathly ill right now. So yeah, let's get right into the video. The Rogue Camp. The crown jewel of the lighthouse map. And possibly one of the most difficult areas in the game to control. Today I'm going to show all of you rats my route, and give you some pointers on how to tackle this unforgiving stronghold. Change? Shit. Alright people, this is the fit for today. When you're rogue hunting, you're gonna wanna do it on a budget because uh, the MG guys can one-shot you pretty quickly. Not doing good now. Ah! So if you're just gonna- if you're going out there for farming, you don't need to take too, too much. We only just need to take the absolute bare essentials. So, we got this diaper rig. Uh, it's class 4, so it takes a couple shots before oh you die. My God. Uh, we got the penis oh. helmet. This is the tried and true. It can take any round at least once. You never know, you never know. There's always a chance. Uh, got the contacts, just so you can hear around those corners and stuff like that. And of course we have the balaclava. There's, there's like not actual any tactical advantage to this thing, I just like wearing it. I got you some gorilla mask. For sure, appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of weaponry, we have a, uh... This shotgun, uh, I made a preset for it, but it's pretty much just uh, the suppressor. Your mileage may vary. You don't need to use the suppressor if you need, if you don't want to. I use it because uh, I can. And we also have the targeting ring sight. It's not expensive. It's like 9,000 rubles from uh, my boy Jaeger. But it has a good sight picture, and I like using it. All you gotta do is put the, the dot right on their face, on their noggin, and then you just pull the trigger. Super duper easy. And uh, the gun shoots pretty good. So, you pretty much doing this. Tapping on the rogues. And if you get into a sticky situation, you're going to spam it. Uh, I would recommend using Magnum Buckshot right here. I take in two stacks normally. I take one stack and I put it into the gun. The second weapon we'll be taking in is the Bolt Action VPO. Uh, I like to run this uh, P-LAD scope on these 25mm rings because it's cheap. And then you can run a suppressor if you want to. I normally don't, but uh, it's fun to run a suppressor. Uh, now this gun ain't too shabby either. We're only, it, it, we're not really using it because it's like good or anything. All we need to do with it is shoot people in the face. Just, just like that, you know what I mean? We're only taking two mags of APM usually. Uh, if you can't use a a AP, if you don't have access to AP uh, ammo, you're broke! You can always pick up EKO from Jaeger. Uh, with the shotgun, you're also you're gonna want to use Magnum Buckshot. Just use whatever ammo you're comfortable with. Me personally, I am comfortable with Magnum Buckshot because it gets the fucking job done. Uh, in terms of meds, we're bringing in an IFAC and a Coloc because if you get if you get shot by the rogues, you're pretty much dead. If you get shot by pretty much anybody else, um, these two should do the job. If you get heavy blade, just pop this guy. If you get light blade, just pop this guy. If you got an injector's case, take one in. Put some propotol, some SJs, some Zagustins, some mules, stuff like that. Take it in. It'll be a lifesaver. Yeah. All the homies that All right, gangsters. Let's do some. Let's do some tactician work. I'm gonna draw the route with the. Uh... Let's do piss yellow. We're gonna be taking on the road camp. There's gonna be a bridge here. We'll either go across that if we get a far spawn on the other side of the map. So you'll go from here and then through uh, the little side area right here. Alright, that's the start. If you spawn in the mountains, you can alternatively come through uh, here just dodging all the mines and such. And then dropping down into the, into the route right here. So, yeah. This entire area over here, we're not gonna fuck with. Alright, alright, alright. So, from right here, you do, you're gonna go right here. You know, check the corners over here, and you're gonna roll through here. There's a rogue spawn here, and a rogue spawn up there. They're usually on the top, but there is uh, uh, spawns inside of the building, as well as a scav spawn, so be wary of that. I'm gonna go through here, clear out there. Now, this little turret guy right here is the first guy that we're gonna ice. He's the first guy on our list. So what we're gonna do, uh, you'll see in the gameplay. From in here, you're gonna take out the guy. Let's do, let's do a little orange. You're gonna take out the guy from a window. You take him out like that. Super duper easy. Then you're gonna cut across here and run all the way to the next building. Uh, in here is one of your, you can do one of the quests in here, so I'll put a little green marker there, you know, boom. There's little stairs on the side that you're gonna take out. And you go up the stairs and we're gonna go to the roof of this building. Two rogue spawns on top and uh, they're gonna be mad at you. So uh, be wary of that. Take them both out, take them out of the game, boom, boom. 
Boom. While you're on the roof, what you're gonna do with your VPO sniper is you're gonna take out the roof rogues. These guys right here, you're gonna take out these guys from the roof. Take them out like that. Boom, boom. And then the other building, you're gonna use your VPO sniper to take out all the rogues on the roof. Bam, 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 like that. While you do this, you will most likely be contested. So be wary that there, there's no 100% foolproof way of taking down the road camp. Let's just say that. After our escapade on top of that roof, we're going to go down, down the stairs, make sure everything's clear. And we're going to go across here, across this road. Uh, if you haven't taken out the turret guy, he uh, will destroy you uh, if you're chilling right here or if you're chilling right here. So make sure that guy's dead. Then you're going to make your pilgrimage into the final building. Get your quest. There's like another quest item in here. You can get your quest done. Alternatively, if you have the uh, the proper quest where you have to go on top of all three buildings, you can get that done once you clear out everybody. Uh, now, as you can see, there's uh, other rogues like this guy. There's uh, this guy, this guy, the watchtower guy, and the sandbags guy. We're not gonna we're not gonna take out these guys at all because they are our little alarm in case any uh, any rats or any other chads try to come in through this way. Uh, we'll hear shooting from them, and we'll know that they're e either fucking up a scav or they're fucking up a player that's trying to steal our loot. Now, after you're done looting or doing whatever you need, you're gonna make a little ball sack right here, and then this is gonna be the finale. And go up here, and you're gonna go up to the train area. Now, alternatively, you can go uh, prone under this fence right here, or you could go through here. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. So, and then after that, you just hug the wall right here, and then you get out. Extract. Boom. That is the rogue route. Okay guys, uh, we've pretty much gone over everything, so I'm not going to talk that much over the gameplay, just enjoy. Scav spotted. On this particular run, the turret guy was not on the turret, so uh, we could skip this part for now. A little rat tactic right here if you go prone right in this position you can see the rogue's feet if he's standing there uh, but I don't see the rogue's feet in this gameplay so he's on the turret
cab over there. Sadly, on this run, no roof rogue spawned on the first building, so you will not see any footage of me sniping him. Alright guys, that is the whole guide. I hope this video gave some good info. I do have one more thing. I've been working on this Escape from Tarkov trailer. Uh, so I don't feel like putting it in its own video, so I'm going to put it at the end of this one. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Sick and tired of all this running around. Oh, I gotta stay focused. Make sure we do a clean sweep. Bad feeling about this. It's like in the goddamn movies.
got bear. Now we got goddamn scabs. Okay, for real this time, now it's the end of the video. Make sure to let me know in the comment section if you want more guides, or if you have another rat view, I probably should make some of those. Yeah, you guys have a good one, uh, peace out, I love y'all so much, and uh, bye.